You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It's 808. Well, this week's Farmer's Market Find is a new pop-up in the heart of Waikiki. That's right. And Dallas Ontiveros, he joins us live with more details. Good morning, Dallas. How's it going? Good morning, you two. Yep, we are here in Waikiki at the beautiful Shoreline Hotel Waikiki. And here joining us on take two is our friend Yvonne Finia, who is a general manager. Good morning, Yvonne. How's good it going? Morning. Very good. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yes, thanks for inviting us. We love the hotel. It's so colorful inside and really a hidden gem on Seaside. Yes. But as far as this maker's market goes, this is the second time you all are hosting it here, but yes. the first time you've ever done something like this. So yes. tell us a little bit about it of course I mean what we want is the hotel to grow deep roots within the community so what we are looking with this makers market is to create a platform uh, we want to open up Waikiki market to these small entrepreneurs to these people who have dreams and we just want to offer our location for that purpose so yes we want to grow soul into what we do so it's happening this Friday at what time six to nine Six yes, to nine in the evening. In the back parking lot uh, right here. We are located between Kalakawa and Kuhio on Seaside. So excellent location from six to nine. A lot of fun, live, live music, art, everything. Nice. What about the tasty food? Is that going to uh, be there? We're going to have some small tasty snacks, mm -hmm. but we're also located right next to Heavenly. So if you're looking for some good food, Heavenly is an amazing option. There you go. And yeah. something that you'll be able to enjoy is our friend Brittany with her Treehouse Teas. Good Good morning, Brittany. Aloha. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Take Two. You look very lovely today. Thank you, and thank you for having me. And I love this setup right here. So tell us a little bit about Treehouse Teas. When did it all start? So I started a retail brand in 2020. We specialize in 100% Hawaii-grown teas and botanicals, wow. meaning that we don't import any ingredients. We really try to do only direct trade. Mm -hmm. We work with about five different farmers um, that grow tea, and then about five different farmers who specialize in botanicals and fruits. And together, we make things that are really special that are 100% Hawaii-grown. And tea has its own world when you really look at the different blends and like you said, all locally here. So that's definitely, that to me, it sounds a lot of floral tasting teas. Is that what it is? We have a lot of florals. Um, we have some fruits, but we actually do specialize in the true tea plant, Camellia sinensis. So not a lot of people know, but true tea like black oolongs and green actually do grow in Hawaii. Um, oh. So that's really where we try to keep our focus and we really try to support and promote our farmers through that. Now, are there caffeine and non-caffeinated uh, options? Yes, we have both. Um, so most of it does have caffeine, um, but we do have some, like you see the hibiscus, the butterfly pea flowers, those would be non-caffeinated teas. Mm -hmm. Occasionally I carry mamaki, but most of the things that I do carry, I love to have caffeine in them. So, yeah. And when's the best time you like to have tea? I probably drink like 10 cups of tea a day. So just depending wow. on the type of the time of day, that will dictate the type of tea, but definitely first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, because you know, any time could really be tea time. Yeah. Don't you just love it? I do. It's and I tea actually time. Some, so this ah. tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try this, but if you could just share with our viewers, how cool is it that Shoreline Hotel Waikiki has kind of a space for entrepreneurs like you for the maker's market? <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're so grateful and appreciative that they create this space for us to really just come and showcase our products mm. to a whole new market. Yeah. And they provide such, um, you know, they're just very generous in the way that they promote small businesses. Mm. So right now, especially, that is super appreciated. Yeah, support yeah. local. It's so big right now. We need to support our local economy and our entrepreneurs. And it's nice that a hotel like Shoreline Hotel Waikiki is open to those ideas. And this, what you say, white tea? Mm -hmm. White tea, this is delicious. I can see why you have 10 cups of tea every day. Jeez Louise, that's amazing. Well, are we going to see you this Friday? Yes, you will. All right, perfect. And we're going to be hanging out here for the next half hour. So if you have any more questions or want some more information about the Maker's Market happening this Friday from 6 to 9, correct? Yes. You can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here on Waikiki, Dallas Navarros, K22 News, pinky up. Working for Hawaii. <laughs> wow, 10 cups ten a day. Cups. That tea must be ono. Mm-hmm.